Welcome everyone to a 90 second crash course in the GoTo Shell series where we try to cover your questions in under a minute and a half. Reminder, all videos and demonstrations use Bash version 4 as the shell. And with that, here we go. Today's lesson is how do I track process IDs? And the actual questions I get are how do I track the process ID of the shell script that I'm in? How do I handle subshells? How do I handle uh, tracking my parents' process ID or my children's process IDs if I'm doing any sort of forking? Uh, the answer is actually pretty simple, so let's go ahead and take a look here oh, after we start our timer. So I've made a dumb script here like usual. We'll go block by block. Uh, so the way you usually see it done when you want to determine the process ID of the script that you're running is use the dollar sign dollar sign syntax. Um, as always, guys, I recommend using braces for all your variables. It never hurts anything, so please just do that. Please be aware that Bash, and I think this was even ported over to KSH and a couple others, um, has a special one called Bash PID. So if you are in a subshell and you call dollar sign dollar sign, I believe you will actually get your topmost parents process ID, which is usually not what you want. Bash PID, I believe, is reinitialized with every subshell, so you will get the PID of the actual subshell that you're in. The next one is how to get your parents process ID, um, PPID is there. I don't know why Bash didn't just make it PID, but whatever. Uh, process ID of last child. So the ampersand means background this task, which invokes forking. So the PID of the sleep that I'm doing is, and you'll again usually not see the braces, but I recommend using it. Just use the exclamation point. All right, last ones, we're gonna start three processes and then use the jobs-p command to print out the process IDs of them to start. And we will see them all here on the line. It's pretty much that simple. If you wanna store them all, just make an array. So I do a loop with five items in here, and as I background things, I store their process IDs. That's it. It's that simple. There we go. I don't have a sub subshell example, but if you guys want me to make one, I can. Anyway, that's all our time for today. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. Uh, if you like the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Subscribe, help me get those videos out there. Um, and again, uh, use those comments because that's pretty much the only place I get feedback on this. Thanks a lot, guys, and have a great day.